Okay, so I finally figured out what the problem was with the uh, vertical horizontal video balance uploading on YouTube. Even though I held it vertically, it's it's just the way the the video formatted. Um, and I apologize about that because I know it's irritating, and half of my fans are going to be head tilters if I don't fix it. So, <laughs> um, uh, one thing I wanted to show real quick is uh, on this ROM, the uh, the Newt. Uh, Newt 1S uh, ROM that I installed on my other Evo 3D. Um, I got Bluetooth working just a little bit ago, and uh, and it's pretty cool. Um, everything worked. It brought up all the Bluetooth networks and uh, brought up my laptop uh, right here. Um, but uh, for some reason, it, it, it quit working now. But that's pretty cool. So Bluetooth works, uh, full data works, um, and of course the there you go. So that's pretty neat. So they've the the developers of the ROM. Um, uh, I forgot the name of or Mick Mick. Uh, yeah, Mick Mick. Um, the developers of the ROM got everything working, um, except for the camera. The camera still doesn't work, but besides the camera, you know everything works, and you see that. Again, I showed it in the other video. Full HD, 1920 by 1080 video quality. So I'm assuming that when HTC finally releases the Android 4.0.3 update for the Evo 3D, it's going to have full HD video, which is awesome. And I know all of us have been waiting for that that have the Evo 3D. If you haven't been waiting for full HD video recording on the Evo 3D, then you're boring. Period. Um... But yeah, I really want, I, I really, really just love this ROM. Um, it's just so much of an, of an improvement over the uh, the uh, Android 2.3.4 and since 3.0. I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> you know, how cool is that and how quick is it? It's a little faster because I overclocked this phone to 1.5, 1, 2 megahertz, or 1.5 gigahertz, but just to show you an example, you know, this, can the iPhone do that? Can the iPhone do that? Really? And then you click on it to get back, or you hold down, um, and then it should go back to that menu screen, but it's not. <laughs> oh, probably because the audio is playing. You know One sec. There we go. Okay, let's go back. Um... Anyhow. Okay, so let's not go back to any screen. Let's go to the home screen and try it there. There we go. Okay, so now you usually don't have to go to the home screen, but uh, that's weird. Anyhow, and then to uh, remove apps um, on the new Android 4.0, you hold down and you drag up to remove. Right there, and it deletes it. But there's a bunch of other cool stuff on here. Um, just to show you all again uh, that I overclocked the phone. Which is so exciting. This is the first time I've ever overclocked anything when it comes to smartphones. But you see that 1.2 gigahertz dual core. It's just very exciting about it. But the fact that I figured out how to overclock it with the uh, the Newt 1S ROM is pretty impressive. And I know htcevohacks.com would uh, would agree, especially when I'm showing S on in the bootloader. Um, by the way, which is still a weird glitch and. I looked at that revolutionary method to achieve S off, and, uh, you know, everyone's like, yeah, it's not scary to break your phone because you have to intentionally break your phone to downgrade from HBoot 1.5 to HBoot 1.4 to achieve S off and then flash the, uh, the RUU Shooter 2.0.8 update, um, or no, 1.3. Yeah, you got to flash the 1.3 RUU uh, stock update to downgrade to 1.4 and then achieve S off and then upgrade back to HBoot 1.5. And I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, do I even want to attempt that? But see, you just saw it there, the 1.5. There you go. See, there you go. So that's the, the new 1S ROM overclocked to 1.5, 1.5. 1.5 gigahertz and it's just it's super fast though it really is and I can even 
I'm pretty confident enough that I could turn on the animations, which they said don't do. Don't turn on the animations because it'll freeze. But let's show transition animations and just see what happens. They said don't do it, though, because the phone will freeze up. So let's see. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly how to get to the uh, transition animations. Maybe changing the personalized... Um, display, HT scene, so let's go to here, and they, they threw in all the scenes too, which is just crazy, it's awesome, click apply, yeah, and by the way, don't, don't turn on the, uh, the animations, because they said it would freeze up, but I've overclocked to, uh, well, that's cool. That's some kind of different. It's like the Mayan calendar. Yeah. That's a little reproduction of the Mayan calendar on your smartphone. For those of us that know about the uh, the Mayan calendar, that's kind of what it looks like, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Anyhow, I just won't talk about Mayan stuff or end of the world survivalists or all those crazy bastards. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't found out already, Kitsap County Geek likes talking shit all the time. I love stirring the pot. So does Mark Zuckerberg, so I don't want to be like him, but he likes stirring the pot, pot too, so that's kind of how he became a uh, billionaire. Um, anyhow, or multi-billionaire. So yeah, did you know Mark Zuckerberg's now worth $19 billion and Facebook has a valuation of $100 billion. And that was, uh, <clears throat> that was the shout-out when they... Uh, released the uh, confirmation of their IPO, $100 billion market value. That's interesting because people just talk to their friends and family on it. Okay. It's Facebook. Um, anyhow, so another thing I wanted to ask somebody about that knows about this to see if this is possible. Um, where is it? Here. Ring, 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 ring. I got a lot of tabs open. Sorry about this. Let me... Hey, there's a revolutionary method to uh, downgrade your H-boot from 1.5 to 1.4. Supposedly, there's no other way to do it, but I had an idea. Um, the the uh, the way to root from htcevohacks.com. See, here it is. How to downgrade to H-boot 1.5 to 1.4 to achieve S-off. Um... This is the whole tutorial on how to do it, and it makes sense to me, but you have to install a separate boot version of Ubuntu of Linux to do it, and uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a webmaster, um, but unfortunately, I haven't really played with too much shell access and shell command stuff in Linux, so um, I'm not saying I can't learn it, because... Uh, yeah, other people like me in my industry can learn anything they want because there's so many resource, resources on Google how to learn anything. But um, what I wanted to show you, yeah, here you go. This right here, how to root Evo 3D 2.08 or later. Um, I went through this method, and this is the method I used to unlock the Evo 3D. And one thing I wanted to point out, and I know a couple other people have seen this, I'm not the only one. Everybody, yeah, this is like, you know, basic. I know everybody's thinking that. But when you get down to here, to achieve super user access, right here, this zip file, I have achieved SOF with HBoot 1.5. I've rebooted the phone, gone into the bootloader, and it said SOF. So, um, what I'm, what I'm thinking is the uh, the RU um, 1.3 update where you have to rename the uh, oh god where is it yeah here it is nope 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 that's the blog one second one second um, where's that file name the PBH everybody knows what I'm talking about here I just want to find it um, uh, one second, one second here, where is the file name, 
file name right here see right here yeah we we all know what that is right we all seen that before if we've ever tried to unlock or root our phone or flash it back to stock that right there so why can't I go through this method okay achieve s off in this section right there like htcevohacks.com shows and if I achieve s off why couldn't I just uh, flash this uh, the 1.31 release to downgrade to 1.4 HP 1.4 and then uh, um, do a factory reset wipe the Dalvik cache and then achieve S off and then upgrade back to HP 1.5 so I'm gonna try that and if my phone bricks it's it's only a hundred dollar loss because that's what I paid for this Evo 3D, just to hack and play with. Um, but if it works, <laughs> if it works, there's there's just so much craziness. Um, there's 170,000 results for HBoot 1.5 S off Evo. Let's let's see here. Let's see how many results there are for that search term in Google. Okay, so there's 106,000 results. So obviously, you know, people people are a little confused how to do it, and everybody's saying that you have to be a power user, an advanced geek, and you know, I'd, I'd go as far to call myself a geek um, because you know I have a lot of knowledge in different areas and different aspects of building websites, developing websites, and now I'm getting into smartphone stuff, and I've only been doing it for three weeks. But if this method works, um, it's it's just a way simple way simple, simpler method than installing Linux and going through all those command stuff and all that. Um, like I said, I've achieved S off before, when, but when you reboot the phone with this, uh, how to root the, uh, yeah, with hdcevohacks.com, by the way, is king. Um, if you have an Evo, Evo anything, uh, bookmark this site, go to it frequently because um, this guy knows what he's talking about better than most any other blog I've come across. So I just wanted to give a shout out to you, bud. I forgot your name. Um, actually, your name's... Hi, folks. This is Max from HTC. Max. Max. Max is awesome, by the way. So just to give a shout out to htcevohacks.com. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try that method instead of installing Ubuntu on my, on my, uh, my business laptop, which I don't want to do. Um, and uh, yeah... I'm a Windows guy, <laughs> even though I build websites on Linux, and it's okay though. You know, it's a learning process, and that's that's just me. Um, but anyhow, enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions, or if anybody else has tried this uh, this root method, and then going down to this step right here, where you achieve S off, and you achieve S off, and then flash that um, flash that uh, one point. This this right here. See, I think that's the section that downgrades you to 1.4, HBoot 1.4, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can achieve S off with the, uh, the rev revolutionary method right here, possibly, to get that token or whatever. But uh, like I said, this is advanced. Um, they say don't do it unless you're a power user or advanced user or know what you're doing. Otherwise, you could brick your phone. And, and uh, even though people say it's hard to brick the Evo 3D, this is one method to do it, where if you don't know what you're doing, and if you don't research it enough, you're going to have a $600 paperweight on your hands, and, you know, that's what they still sell for brand new. Um, so, enjoy the video. I'm going to try it right now, and uh, I'll let you know the outcome, and if it works, I'll start from scratch and show you the whole process and show you that it worked, and I achieved S off without installing Linux. Take care.